God, you never change. Faithful is your name. Faithful is your name. Lord, you never change. My God, you never change. Faithful is your name. So the Holy Spirit began to minister to me. Faithful is God's name. A woman was inspired to speak with me and she just said the words, surrender. You do not know how long the test will last, but you just keep on persevering essentially until you get the result of your test. All different trials, tribulations, I keep on being consistent, I keep on going. And the Holy Spirit began ministering today as I ministered on that song or I reflected on the words of that song, that faithful is God's way, ways. And I was just like, wow. And God was ministering to me, let the weak say I am strong because sometimes I just feel like, how on earth am I living for this day? Because for me, I'm so much with my creator at all times. I feel like my spirit is forever aligned with God. And I feel like I'm just, doing life, like living life, doing the day-to-day -day things that make life. And I can't wait till I return to my God. I can't wait till I return home to the kingdom of heaven. I just can't wait. But at the same time, I can wait because I have a reason to live and that is for the next generation that I'm producing. I pray they are intelligent. I pray they are intellectual. And I pray that they become whatever they want to be. But faithful is God's ways. The last message that I dropped to you guys was about just being present, living for each day. And I heard a person talking about, you know, the farming industry and the future of farming for 2050. And I was like, I'm just trying to, you know, live presently in 2023 that I'm not looking there for my children to give me a reason to go that far ahead because I care about their future and I care about who they become. I care about their intellect. I care about their wisdom. It's even exciting to be honest. So faithful is God's ways. Amen.